Hello everybody, my name is Alec with Home and Rehab and today we're going to talk about something called Guillain-Barre Syndrome. We're first going to talk about the presentation because this is not a more common disorder. Guillain-Barre tends to present with people who all of a sudden start to experience numbness or tingling, especially in their extremities, like their arms or legs. That numbness and tingling is accompanied usually by weakness. Anytime you get sudden numbness or weakness, the first thing you should do is contact your physician and maybe even get to the hospital immediately. In the case of Guillain-Barre, there is no exception. As you're probably very well aware, falling asleep on your arm is a perfectly normal way for you to get numb and weak for a short period, but you almost instantly, as soon as you change positions, will notice your symptoms starting to alleviate. In any case where you have non-alleviating numbness and tingling, and that's within minutes, you should tr uh, start your contact with uh, medical professionals, because especially in the case of Guillain-Barre, the sooner you catch some of these things, the better. Now with Guillain-Barre, what's happening is your nerves are being attacked by your own body. We're not always entirely sure why, but there seems to be a correlation with a previous viral infection, and that's something as simple as the flu virus, or recently in Brazil we saw this with the outbreak of Zika. Now, that correlation does not necessarily mean causation, but the fact that the two are so closely related may mean that if you've had a recent viral infection and you do start to experience some of these numbness and tingling, it could be an important thing to tell your doctor as soon as you get into the hospital because it can help them with that problem solving process. It might not mean that what you have is Guillain-Barre, but if it is, it does certainly help accelerate. Now, the reason we're going over this in a matter of trying to be expedient is that with Guillain-Barre, very often, if we catch it early, we can administer certain uh, therapies and medications that can halt the process. That means that with this very quickly degenerating disorder, we can actually stop some of that degeneration. And the sooner we do that, the more function you have at a baseline. Now that baseline function can then proceed to grow from there. Once discharged from the hospital, you'll often be sent to someone like myself, a physical therapist. Our job is to help those nerves remake their connections. When we're kids, our body is always trying to learn and figure out what's going on. That process of experimentation involves a lot of failures. The good news for kids is that they don't usually remember what's going on, whereas adults we tend to feel embarrassed. And as we try and fail, we tend to get very frustrated. The job of a physical therapist is to help give you some games, exercises, and activities, just like when you were a kid, to help you figure out how to remake those connections. Now, for people whose handwriting is affected, you may find that you have to relearn how to write, and that may mean that your handwriting drastically changes, because how we learn through experimentation is not necessarily the exact same every time. That can be frustrating, but as long as you're doing very, very well, it's a sign that your body is recovering relatively normally. Now, obviously the upper extremities are not the only ones affected here, and very often with Guillain-Barre we see profound effects in ambulation, which is our fancy term in physical therapy for how we walk and move about. Now, for some people this may mean that for a short period of time you'll be in a wheelchair until your nerves have made some of the connections necessary to support you in standing. Other people have found that they need assistive devices or orthotics that help them function until their body remakes those connections and figures out how to use its muscles again. This is not a true loss of strength in the sense that just going back to the gym and weightlifting will get you back to normal. Again, this is a neurological disorder, which means that as your body recuperates, learning is going to be one of the most important parts. And that is where physical therapists, occupational therapists, and other rehab personnel are here to help you figure out what's the most efficient way to get back on your feet, sometimes very literally. If you have any questions or you know anybody who's been affected by this and would like to ask a little bit more stuff in depth, we're always happy to answer, so feel free to contact us. Have a great day, guys, and I hope you enjoy your week.